Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to generate YouTube videos tags with OpenAI. So whenever you have some videos for uploading on YouTube, you collect all the data related to it in a Google Sheet like the picture, the link, the video, the description and also the title of that video. And then we are going to use OpenAI to generate tags specifically for that specific video. So for that, doing that manually one by one is a time taking task. Rather we can create an automation with the help of Pabli Connect where our trigger will be the adding new row in Google Sheet about the video content and our action will be to generate tags with the help of OpenAI. Let us learn how to do that. So in this video, we are going to learn how can you generate YouTube video tags with the help of OpenAI. I have a spreadsheet over here, Google spreadsheet, where I have collected all the details related to my YouTube videos. The title, the description, the video link, the category of the video that I will tell you how you can get. Then the status of the video which is uploaded, the video ID and also I have an empty column for tags that we are going to fill up with the help of OpenAI that I have opened over here. So let us quickly sign in to our automation software so that I will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. Reaching here, click on access now given under Pabli Connect because we are going to use Pabli Connect to create the automation. Now we will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. When you reach here, you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as generate YouTube video tags with OpenAI. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you. Now you will have two windows, trigger and action. Trigger is going to be the first application where we will make the changes. That is going to be the trigger event. And the action application or the action step will be the place where the action will be taking place automatically. So the trigger application for this workflow is Google Sheet because we are going to fetch the information from Google Sheet first. Whenever a new row will be added over here for a new video, the details will be updated and the tags will be generated on its own with the help of OpenAI once we create this workflow. So the trigger event will be new or updated spreadsheet row. Now Pabli Connect provides a webhook URL right over here which is used to connect Pabli Connect and our trigger application Google Sheets such that every new updated row is sent over here like a webhook response. So let us learn how to use this webhook. First of all, copy this webhook from here. Go to your spreadsheet and go to extensions in the menu bar. Here you will find add-ons. So you have to install one add-on to get add-ons which will help you use the webhook given by Pabli Connect. Search in the search bar Pabli Connect webhooks and this is the add-on that you need to install. Once you're done with this installation, Come back over here and you will find the add-on in your extensions menu. Now you have to go to initial setup and here you will find two blank fields, webhook URL and trigger column. So paste the webhook URL over here that you have copied from your workflow and the trigger column will be the last updated column. So if you find over here, F is the last updated column. So whenever Pabli Connect webhook will fetch the information, it will take everything which comes under F column, like from A to F. So we'll go back to our setup. And as you can see, the webhook URL has already been pasted. We will just enter the trigger column, which is F. Submit. Setup configured successfully. And now we will send a test. So it will send the information in the first row. Test data sent successfully. Coming back over here to our Pabli Connect, we'll see that we have received a response over here. Now one more thing to be kept in mind, go to extensions again, Pabli Connect webhooks and click on send on event. Send on event means that every time a new row will be updated, that is the event when you have to send that specific information to Pabli Connect. Now you can see link, ID, trigger column, title, status, all these columns have been fetched over here. So now we are going to use these descriptions or these details about the YouTube video to generate tags. Now our action application will be open AI because we are going to use this, this AI to generate tags. The event will be generate content. And now we will connect, add new connection and you will need a token to connect Pabli Connect and your open AI. For that, you have to go to open AI API keys page. If you already have an account over here, it will automatically open like this. Now click on create new secret key and here I will type YouTube or any name that you want to give to your link. Create secret key. This generated key you have to copy and come back here and paste it. Click on save and your connection has been done. 
now you will have many empty fields over here that you need to make changes to your generated content like the ai model is this the one yes it's the most used one and we are going to use the same now prompt is the command that you are going to give to your ai then we have tokens sampling type value presence penalty so all of these things you can find in a video on our channel only to learn how can you use open ai inside pabli connect otherwise you can go to your playground over here and this is the playground where you can generate the content using open ai but manually and here you will find all these details so you can find a set of instructions that will help you understand these changes now let us give a prompt so i will write over here generate tags for a youtube video and then i will give the title in the description of the video which makes it very clear for open ai to generate tags for that specific content here so we will map the title and description over here where do we have the title and description in the sheet but we are going to fetch that from here in our trigger application now this process is called mapping where you use the data that you have received as a response from your previous application like you can see to map they have given insert data from previous step and they have given us the previous step also over here so here you will find the title which is the nature okay and click on description and here you will map the description as well this is the description all right now you have to enter max tokens which means that the number of words you want so we are not going to set it to any specific number because first of all it's not a required field secondly the default value is already set over here sampling type is required so we are going we have two options but we are going to use temperature sampling over here now the sampling value presence penalty all of these are not required in the case of tags you can use this whenever you are generating an essay or an article now we are done with all the important settings click on save and send test request and your tags will be generated in no time and here we have the response we have the id of the content generated and here we have the tags see now open ai understands that whenever you generate tags for youtube you need a limited number of tags over there so it gives you the exact or the perfect number of tags that you can use now once we have received the response we are going to update this in our spreadsheet so close this window and move on to our next action step click on this plus button new action window will open and type over here google sheets here the action event will be to update cell value so you can rather find or type in the search bar update cell value over here connect now you don't need to connect it separately because we have already connected this spreadsheet and we have to update the generated content over here in this tags column so let us keep it on select existing connection click on save and now it's connected now you have to select the spreadsheet so the name of our spreadsheet is youtube videos and the sheet name is already selected if not selected then you can open this drop down menu and select from all the given spreadsheet that you have it on your account now the range that you need to update is first of all you can you have to understand that the event is update cell value which means not the complete spreadsheet but that specific cell value has to be updated you just don't have to update this row or this specific cell you have to update this complete column so you have to make changes over here in such a way that every time this workflow runs a new tag is generated or for any specific new video then that specific row or cell has to be updated so here we will put g as our column and we will write the row index as well that's given over here enter the range of the sheet that needs to be updated like if this is the column then the row index is also needed so the row index can be mapped from this google sheet every time you get a response from google sheet whether is it is a trigger or an action you will always receive row index like this okay now what value has to be updated so that value has to be taken from open ai and map this text so the tags have been generated and updated by clicking on save and send test request you will receive a confirmation yes and when you go back over here see the tags have been updated over here now it's up to you to add the last action step over here to update these tags in your youtube video as well so choose your action application as youtube the event will be to update video details here we have the update video details as action click on connect add new connection connect with youtube choose your google account click on allow and here the connection will be established you have to select the google account whichever account is related to your youtube channel now once this is done you will need the video category id channel id title all of these details we have it either in our google sheet or in our newly generated content so the category id we have it over here as the this category channel is this you don't need to change this video id you have to map it because we have the video id over there 
so what was the video id that we have we have been working upon so we have the video id as this so you have to map it do not enter manually because if you enter it manually then it is not going to change for any video okay so that will cause an error in the workflow so map it so whenever a new video or a new detail is used over here to generate tags then that specific id should be used in that case now video title so again map it in the same way this is the title thumbnail url you don't need for now tags you can take it from open ai here and the description you can back take it back from here only this is done click on save and send test request and we have received the response so our youtube video has the tags also now so this is just an optional step if you want you can copy it straight away from here and add tags in your youtube video otherwise you can add this action step also so that you don't need to do any work and just sit back and relax so this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect if you have any issue regarding pably you can email us at support@pably.com you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to to our channel thank you